So, welcome back. Once again, here we are, back inside of 3D Code, and I am still Domico O. Cunningham, and I'm also still Dr. Media. So, as we continue moving forward here inside of Code, how do we paint on this? I need to paint it, I need to paint it now. So, to get into my paint room, I'm just going to go over here to UV. I'm in my UV room right now. So, over here, I'm going to go to paint. And now, this is ready to be painted. So now if I paint on this, you'll see, look, oh my god, it lets me paint on it, and it's painting the way that I want it to paint, which, well, not really the way I want it to paint, but just painting green on it. So we need to talk about how painting works here inside of Coat. You've got your layers panel. So your layers panel, you see you have opacity, you have depth opacity, so you can paint with a certain amount of depth. I can come in here and paint like this, and I can go in here to my depth opacity and turn down the depth of that layer. So this lets me turn down the depth of individual layers, kind of, kind of the same way that uh, Mudbox does. So Mudbox lets you kind of turn down your sculpting on layers. This lets you turn down your opacity on your layers. So I can turn down the sculpting or the depth opacity. I also have just regular opacity, which is for my color information. And I also have roughness opacity, so if I'm painting, you can see right there, if I turn down the roughness, roughness is, really it's like specularity um, of my surface, but we're talking about PBR shading at this point, so we talk about roughness and not just spec. So we're talking about roughness and glossiness and things like that. With this, I also have ways for these to blend. So I have blending modes, just like Photoshop, like hard mix, um, diffuse, exclusion, hue, saturation, color, lightness. I can also modulate it. Um, normal maps are on a, if you're trying to blend together normal maps. So, excuse me. So if you, if you're trying to blend normal maps, you can blend the normal map layer. Uh, that's a process that you can do inside of Photoshop, but a lot of people do it wrong in Photoshop. So the information gets basically de basically destroyed because when they put two normal maps on top of each other, they don't mix the X and the Y values right, so their their normal map doesn't work the way they think it would. I think a lot of times people think, well, I can just take one normal map, make it you know semi-transparent, and lay it on top of the other normal map, and that doesn't work. It, it actually uh, starts to negate uh, part of the X, Y, and Z values that are saved within the normal map. So you have to you have to blend normal maps a special way to be able to get that detail to happen from both maps at the same time as one map. I know, it's, it's confusing, it's confusing. Um, I can make layers in here. So right by default, I have layer one, layer zero. I can make additional layers. Um, I can come through here and delete layers and do, you know, do whatever and be able to get, kind of get through my model. And my model's still here. You'll notice, my model's still there. But because we were changing stuff, it just kind of wigged out a little bit. So the model is there. It's kind of that's kind of cool though. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. It's like ah, I'm painting her back. So I'm gonna delete this layer. Uh, is that the layer? Uh, that's the layer. So I'm gonna delete this layer. And I'm actually gonna fill this. So over here, you'll see on the left-hand side, I have my tools. If I hit the space bar, space bar gives me a radial menu of the exact same tools that are over here. So if I had this in full screen mode, I could just hit space bar and get to my tools the same way. So in here, you'll see there's the paint bucket. And over here, there's my paint bucket. So there's my fill tool. So you can see it gives me a preview of what's going to happen with this fill tool. So right now, if I fill this, it's going to fill everything with green and give me this really slick looking green. Well, I don't want that. I want to fill this. I'm going to go to my color and change this back to the gray that it was before. So like this gray, somber gray. And I don't want it super shiny like that. That's, that's really awkward for me. So I want it to have a high amount of roughness to it. And opacity, let's make the opacity 100%. 
and you can this is really kind of cool you can fill by surface so you can just fill you can come here and click on surface material and fill the entire surface material or you can fill by object or just fill by layer and you can fill with a pattern if you want it to or whatever else pretty cool so let's talk about the way that the normal the painting here inside of coat works if you look on your keyboard the tilde key so the tilde key is that key on your keyboard that comes before the number one on the number on the uh, number row so that key excuse me it has your little tick to it but above there there's a little squiggly line that squiggly line is what we was what we refer to as the tilde key so that tilde key if you hit tilde you'll see it brings up this little menu and I can change the radius of my brush I can change the fall off of my brush and I can change the depth of my brush like the normal map so this is the normal map depth this is the opacity of my color and then this is the intensity of my glossiness now don't worry if you don't remember all of that because all those things are still they're still mirrored up here so everything is right here opacity roughness metalness they're all still here now one thing that's really cool is I can turn off what I don't want to paint let's say that I only want to paint color so I can come in here and choose a color and only paint color so now I'll paint only red and I'm painting this let's say I'm painting in here and I'm painting at an opacity of 100% so I'm painting this and I'm just painting red so that's all I want on this I could also come back in here and only paint normal maps so now you'll see I'm only painting normal information which is kind of freaking cool or I could come back in here and just paint specularity so you can see it's kind of shiny now where I'm painting over this so you can only paint specular if you hold down control you'll actually take away if you hold down if you don't hold on anything then you'll add if you hold down control you'll remove and that's always the way that works so the really cool thing is that I have these smart materials that are already in here smart materials are basically PBR shaders that have been built here inside of 3d coat so you can use your own images and you can make your own at once this when I clicked on this smart material these smart materials all have like some type of um, surface de uh, edge detailing to them so for edge details you need curvature maps so it will it basically calculates the curvature map for you and then if it needs an ambient occlusion map it will generate the ambient occlusion for you now that's because if, that's because I've clicked on a certain material that already has those things in it so it needs them to be able to work correctly to use that material so it's asking can I basically make these maps for you and you can say no if you choose to I don't know why I mean it's trying to help you so just kidding so like right here it's asking me to be able to do occlusion it's gonna make a sphere and you're not gonna be able to see the sphere but it's gonna make a pretend sphere around there and put 248 lights in it and then bake out occlusion for me so we'll say yes okay so my curvature maps are coming out they're smoothing out you can see the curvature maps already started in here this white area right here are the curvature maps that I'm seeing on my model so these are areas where the models take extreme turns in geometry on its vectors um, well, let's look at normals information and it figures out how those things are changing um, on your model so right now it's it's generating out the curvatures and it's generating out the uh, AO maps for me and it does take a little bit of time so just keep that in mind it's not especially if you have a if you have the higher your texture um, size that you picked when you if, when you first brought this in then it'll take longer now 3d coat is able to export out 16 um, 16,000 by 16,000 textures which would be 16k textures I honestly do not know anything that would need a 16k texture 
Um, like for a video game, at least a video game, there's you know no film. Maybe um, you might do like a 16k texture for film. Um, so this guy's still generating out curvatures, and I wonder if it's stuck in some kind of awful, awful world of hate. Let's make sure it's not. I'm just going to... It's going to escape out of that, so... Eh, eh, eh. I'm going to hold escape. Tell it to stop doing it. Hey, stop! Stop doing all the calculations of these, uh, of the cabbages. Yeah, so... No, cancel. Yeah, I think it's stuck in some kind of weird loop. At least the program's not crashing on us. It's just trying to, it's just trying to super do these curvature maps. I don't know what's, why that's doing that. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna hold escape as I can come out of this. And while it's coming out of this, I'm gonna pause so that I can uh, give it time to stop. So, didn't have to pause it after all. So it's sitting right there and let's, yeah, there it goes. So I'm gonna say by object this time and I'm gonna fill the head Let's just do that. There we go. So, instead of letting the material um, be able to pick our and something's something's cuckoo, something's going awry inside of inside of here because it's not letting me add another layer which is weird let's just do this let's actually save this test uh, save it to the desktop so I know where it's at And let's just reopen up coat. It happens. Alright, every every 3D program can have a a bad moment. It'll just go like cow and, and and tinkle on itself. So let's see if uh let's see if this is yeah, there we go. So yeah, just reopening it is, is fine. So anyway, if you want to generate your 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 uh, occlusion and your curvature maps yourself, if you go here to the textures menu, you can see I'll say calculate occlusion. I'll use a sphere, 248 lights, and say OK, and then let it go ahead and calculate it out. And now you'll see it's saving the texture. So I have an occlusion map. And I think the occlusion map is what's is what's causing it to uh wanna pee itself. That's that's that again. Let's get that occlusion. Let's not let's not run the occlusion map then. Let's just uh let's just open it up. I don't know. I mean, this now I will say, like I say, uh, this model is not an internal model. This model was taken from uh, a site. I have had issues with this model as I've been using it, so I, I think it could just be some problems with this particular model. Let's see if I do my curvature. Let's see what it does if I calculate my curvature. And it's only been this model. Like it, 